with the addition of the new anvil to the shop, if you haven't checked that video, go check, go do that now. But with the addition of this new anvil, I think it's time we make a hammer to match it. This is gonna be one of many hammers that I make, but today I am going to be making a handle for this restored German silver smithing anvil. If you see, it says West Germany and 357, I believe. I'm not sure what 357 means, actually. It doesn't mean grams, because this is around 400 grams, I believe. Um, but it says W Germany, which I think means West Germany, uh, which is kind of cool, a little history. Anyway, um, we're gonna be making a handle for this out of some desert ironwood. This has some flaws, but I honestly think we can work around it. I mean, I'm gonna be doing a lot of the cutting on the bandsaw, and then we're moving to sanding and uh, fitting. Should be about 10 inches in length, which is, about, I'd say, appropriate for this little silversmithing hammer. Yeah, let's get to it. Bandsaw. All that needs to be done now is some sanding and some polishing. Ding, ding, ding. Looks pretty good. Now I just need to fill this crack in the middle. It doesn't go, it only goes, you know, on this corner, but it needs to be filled regardless. To do that, put some shellac on it and sand it, then repeat. Shellac on a piece and sanding it will kind of gum it up and it'll fill the cracks. Well, that's a beautiful wood. Ah, it's beautiful. You gotta be quick about it. Now that our void is filled, focus. Now that the void is filled, looks pretty cool too. We can start sanding the whole thing down to steel wool. Then we'll put a boiled linseed oil finish on it and put our wedge in and it'll be done. Now I just need to make a wedge to fit in. Then we can fit our hammerhead and put oil on it. Let's go and fit our hammerhead on. 
Uh, there's a special way it should fit on so it slips on most. I don't think it's, maybe it's that way. Simply hit the back and that will push the, uh, the handle forward and the head will fall back. Nice wax. You want it to be seated on there very firmly. wedge in. And delicately force the wedge in. Make sure it's going in straight. It's definitely expanded quite a bit. We're going to trim this on the bandsaw, and then we're going to put some oil on it. Borat linseed oil, of course. Ooh, look at that. Hey, it doesn't focus. Beautiful. This is my favorite hammer. This is my new favorite hammer. This is beautiful. It's got a sweet weight to it. Like I, I can't, I can't really describe it. It's like just a cool weight. Um, the handle feels great. Of course it does. It's Desert Ironwood, and it t it takes just an awesome shine. Let's try and get some. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this little uh, video making this handle. Desert Ironwood, it's hard to shape. It's really hard to work with. <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you differently because this stuff is hard. If you'd like to try some Desert Ironwood, go ahead and message me um, at this email and I can talk to you about um, getting some Ironwood. But this stuff is beautiful. Very happy with how this turned out. I'm not going to be doing any major blacksmithing with this. This will be like very detailed stuff where I'll want to like choke up on the handle and like you know, get real fine with it. But yeah, super happy with how this turned out. I love it. And thanks for stopping by. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and comment for more, for more videos. Uh, yeah. Appreciate you stopping by. See you in the next video.